As if the Patriots needed to be reminded that they are no longer in San Diego, they are back here at Gillette Stadium where it's been snowing all day and the stadium lights are on because the sky is so gray. Apparently they just can't see themselves as they put one foot in front of the other here down the stretch run of this regular season. And let's take a look at the week here at Gillette Stadium. We're back here again, of course, after spending a week out in sunny San Diego, which we continue to miss by more and more by the day. The Patriots got back here at 8.30 Monday morning after a red-eye flight following their 23-14 victory against the Chargers. And they didn't have the style points, but again, these are the tough types of wins the teams need. And again, considering the circumstances, a week away, out at the beach, you didn't really know how the Patriots would respond to that, and it was a tough, it was tough sledding for them for for three quarters of that game really. But they pulled away and got a key win. I think this this win spoke volumes. Uh, it's the kind of, of win you might not have seen uh, in recent years. Uh, the defense held fort and held fort and held fort, kind of waiting for the offense to wake up and put some points on the board, which is exactly what happened. And, you know, in in the past. Uh, the defense would, would kind of cave in or give up plays and, and not be able to, to hold a, a, a team like the Chargers in. But, you know, they kept Phillip Rivers at bay. They kept that Chargers team off the board uh, all game long and waiting basically for Tom Brady and the offense to, to get going. And um, they held Rivers to 14 points. You know, the, the Patriots didn't score a lot, but it was just enough. And... Again, as you said, it wasn't pretty. They don't get much style points, but they, if they can win a game like that, I think that's a great sign. Yeah, the Chargers only scored one touchdown in 12 possessions, which, again, I think this it further adds to the notion that this is a Super Bowl-caliber defense. And the Chargers aren't a Super Bowl-caliber opponent, but, again, I mean, in this day and age, Phillip Rivers earlier this season was being viewed as a guy near the top of that MVP race. Certainly has fallen off, but... It was an impressive performance, again, on the road, and that's a place where every team in the league struggles to win games on the road and, and again, an, an electric atmosphere. Now the Patriots have gotten back to Gillette Stadium, and, again, it's it's everything is as far away from that San Diego weather as you could imagine. They practiced on Wednesday in the middle of a rainstorm. They practiced Thursday in the middle of a snowstorm, and it's just sort of some, some normalcy, as crazy as that sounds. Yeah, I think as much as, you know, the Patriots use that time out in San Diego kind of as a team bonding kind of thing. And they and they all said it was a worthwhile thing for them to kind of, you know, get things going collectively as a team. But, you know, they're back home now. Uh, they're back to, you know, the business of, you know, playing where they're kind of unbeatable yeah. <laughs> at Gillette. One interesting note from Wednesday's practice, which again was held in a very wet field after rain hit the area for about 24 to 36 hours. Chandler Jones is working on some pass drops. He's been out for six games with a hip injury. Guy who's appearing to look closer and closer upon his return. I don't know if it's going to be this week or not, but was backpedaling, turning his hips, staring down the pass, breaking toward the ball, and then kind of ending the drill as it was. But again, on the wet surface, the Patriots wouldn't have Jan Chandler Jones be doing this if they weren't comfortable that his hip could stand up to that. And you mentioned, as here is the third item, Patriots are welcoming the Dolphins, and you mentioned the weather and how this is a place that's difficult for teams to come in at this time of the year and win these games. The Dolphins are number one on that list. I mean, the Patriots have struggles down there. Early in the year in the humidity, the Dolphins have their troubles up here late in the year with the colds. And we'll find out. I mean, the Dolphins have caught, gotten hot at times this season. They, I mean, I think they've kind of come back to earth a little bit more in the last couple of weeks. We'll see what this Dolphins team is made of. Can they, can they come up and, and steal a very difficult game in the elements against a Patriots team that we know looks like they're driven toward the Super Bowl? Well, you know, the Patriots don't want to lose twice uh, to the same team, number one. But more importantly, you know, the Patriots' path is, is cut out right in front of them. They're right now the top seed in the AFC. They want to maintain that top seed. They can't lose. They don't want to lose any, any games the rest of the way. They need to win out. That will assure themselves the top seed and home field. Playing right here at Gillette Stadium. They need to beat the Dolphins to start that and keep that momentum going. Absolutely. If they win two of their last three, because the Broncos and Bengals play each other in Week 16, if they win two of their last three, the Patriots are pretty much assured to get a first-round bye. 
But as you said, they sweep the division in these final three games. There's no doubt about it. They're their number one seed, and the AFC goes through New England.